this channel, I'll be talking about whatever I fucking want. No, no, record him, record him, record him, record him. This help me! Bike, Please help this me! This is not your bike! <laughs> Please help this me! This is not your bike! <laughs> this is not your bike! Please help me! Help! Please get off me! Hey, what the fuck is going on, bro? Please get off me! Yo, yo, don't nah. not take it, bro. Now you're not getting the bike, bro. Hey, now you're not getting the bike, bro. Help! You're not getting the bike. I'm not. Why you took his phone? What's wrong with you? You're not touching his phone. You're not touching his phone. I'm not touching you. You put your stomach on my head. Help! 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 No, 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 no. Please I said help. no. I said sit down. Guys, guys, guys. Please help. She's just crying. You're not crying. You're not crying. I got you. I got you on video. Wait, you, 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 you pulled it out? Hey, 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 hey. Hassan, you pulled it out? Hassan. That's fine, you pulled it out. Uh, this is my bike, it's on my account. Yeah, Please move. Alright, so why don't we set, reset the bike? I'm not resetting the bike. It's, it's his, it's his, it's, it's his. his. It's it's reset it. I'm gonna pull it out on your account. You're active. I don't know how to walk. I don't give a fuck. This is my bike. Stop fake crying. Stop fake crying. Stop touching me. I don't touch you. Hold up, hold up. Hey, stop touching me. Stop touching me. Why don't you take this bike? Stop touching me. You're not touching me. Take it. Exactly, so take it. So take it. Oh, you're you're stupid ass. Fuck out of here. Stop, Dumb ass. Your baby gonna come out with something. How you stop crying? Not a tear came down, miss. Not a tear came down. Come on, Dick. Come on, Dick. Come Well, well, well. Look at what I have here. After hearing from Sarah Jane Comrie, almost likely her lawyer, there's confirmation that now aligns with what I've been saying all along. Now here from the black teenage boy, almost likely his big sister, who came out with the proof of her brother's receipt. The only reason why Sarah Jane Comrie was able to produce this receipt for this bicycle is because she jumped over this young man standing right here who had his hands on the handlebars, jumped over him, impales herself on his bike, and scans the QR code to begin the ride. How did all of this happen and how do I know what happened? Because that young man is my little brother. Bike number 5603915 was in my brother's possession from St. Nicholas Avenue, Manhattan Ave, all the way to First Avenue, East 30th Street from the hours of 6.33 p.m. to 7.19 p.m. At 7.19 p.m., they dock the bikes. Sarah Jane Comrie walks up to them, asks, hey guys, can I use one of you guys' bikes? She says this as there are other bikes sitting idle at the bike rack. They politely decline. She asks them again, mentions that she's pregnant, and they still decline. Then, with my brother standing next to the bike with his hands on the handlebars, she jumps onto the bike, sits on the bike, and scans the QR code, thus beginning her ride. Mind you, the bike was in my brother's possession at this time. So this screenshot is from six minutes after the previous ride ended. Um, once the boys reached the bike rack, they docked the bike to restart the ride. My brother's standing next to the bike. That's when Sarah Jane Comrie walks up to them and asks, hey, can I ride this bike? They say no. They politely decline. She asks them again. They politely decline. As the bike is docked is when she jumps over my brother because he's standing with his hands on the handlebar. She jumps over my brother to start her ride. Then the bike gets pushed back in during the, the, the you know, back and forth. Um, and then my brother is able to start the ride again for him. As you can see, 7.25 p.m. Previous ride ended 7.19 p.m. These gentlemen, these boys did not steal this bike from Sarah Jane Comrie. She stole the bike from them, then proceeded to weaponize her whiteness. The video started being recorded at 7.24 p.m., close to 7.25. Um, my brother's ride that was in the previous screenshot starts at 7.25. The initial ride where my brother rid rode the bike all the way over to the bi this bike dock ended at 7.19 p.m. Sarah Jane Comrie walked up to them. Sarah Jane Comrie asked them if they can use the bike. They said no. Sarah Jane Comrie sees that the bike is docked, gets up, scans the QR code, jumps onto the bike 
starts screaming for help and fake crying so that she can get an electric city bike. There were a number of bikes at the bike rack already there when she arrived. She still proceeded to try to take the bike from my brother. Help. She's trying to get help for the city bike. The city bike is in my brother's possession on his account. 7.25 p.m. Docks it at 7.19 p.m. Picks it back up 7.25 p.m. While she's screaming for help, 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 make trying to make it seem like these boys stole this bike from her, the bike is on my brother's account. It is not defamation of character if the way that you behave reflected your character. It is not defamation if it's true. Sarah Jane Comrie, you did behave like a Karen. That's true. There's no way around that. Now, as his sister's story checks out, another TikToker explains something that I'm going to explain the rundown in a moment. You guys really don't need a hundred grand for a Karen to go hire a PR firm to make a black kid look bad. He's out me! He's out me! Help! He's out me! Help! Help me! He's out me! He's out me! Yeah, this is the trash Karen that you guys gave money to, so she can go hire a PR firm and some lawyers to go make the black kid look bad and sue everybody that calls her a Karen because she's implying that the black kid stole the bike from her. Her lawyer provided us these receipts showing she had rented the bike in question. In fact, the bike number on the receipt actually matches the bike she is seen being pushed off of in the video. Do you trust him to fairly investigate this and if charges are warranted, bring them? These fucking cunt ass jackasses on News Nation talking about the narrative, oh, maybe we should press charges on the black kids for shoving her off the bike, and then they got the bombshell of a receipt with a redacted timestamp. Okay. So this is what actually fucking happened. The black kid, who probably has an annual membership, is allowed to take any bike he wants for up to 45 minutes before he has to redock. How, how do I fucking know? I'm fucking from New York and you can Google that shit. If he didn't redock the bike, then he'd get charged for every minute it's still out. So he docks it, hoping to take it back out again, all of which is on his account. And what does the Karen do? It's like, oh, I want your bike. And what makes his bike special? There are two types of city bikes in New York City. One's electric and one's not. So like, one you have to pedal harder than the other. She saw the kid probably dock the bike and was like, hey, can I have that? And he's like, nah, I'm not done with it. And she tried to scan her phone anyways when he docked it. And how do I know my version of the story is fucking true? Because the kid's sister literally has the timestamps for when he took the fucking bike out. The kid literally has two fucking receipts, one from 6.33 to 7.15, and the next one from 7.25 to 7.33, and guess where that video fucking took place? She literally starts crying for fucking help one minute before he got a chance to take it back out again. But nah, leave it up to the internet to go pay a fucking Karen 120 grand so she can go write some op-eds pretending like they're fucking news pieces about how she's the victim here. Oh, and, and shout out to the fucking PR firm, aka Dustin Siggins of Proven Media Solutions. Go take everybody's donated money to spin that shit to make the black kid look bad. Yeah, good job guys. Justin fucking Marino just admitted that he redacted Sarah Jane Comrie's receipt. Here it reads, We previously redacted the receipt to protect Miss Comrie's safety by, re by withholding time and location. And this is the problem here. See this? This is the redacted receipt her lawyer sent out as proof without leaving in the location and time. And here's the unredacted receipt with the location and time. You participated to hide the most crucial information of the evidence. You, Justin Moreno, have already done damage control not only to your own client's family who got death threats, but the unidentified black family whose black teenage boy rented the bike to go from one location to another got smeared by racist 
white conservatives online who hate an innocent black teenager by calling him a thug or a scum, which he is neither of those things. It's your fault, Sarah Jane Conry's lawyer. And the reason you now started to release the unredacted receipt from Sarah Jane Comrie is because you saw his sister's video showing the, di di the time and location as evidence, knowing that you got caught. So you respond to show it. This is undeniable proof that her l employment lawyer was very stupid and could face a future lawsuit with the unidentified black teenager's family. As for the GoFundMe, you know, situation, it shows that an entitled white family member would do anything to get people to donate money over a fucking stupid city bike dispute because the Bellevue Hospital put on leave. Sarah and her entire family are deeply moved by this extraordinary show of support. She wishes she could thank each contribu contributor individually. It looks like MSM is finally starting to present the full story. But there are so still so many mild things on Twitter, TikTok, and YouTube. And she and her husband have been getting, have been noxed and threatened. And people have come to their building. Getting her lawyer on TV has been a big help in getting the truth out. But her entire life remains in limbo. Thank you. Yeah, her life remains in limbo because her lawyer fabricated the receipt evidence. Also, the incident of being called a racist Karen wasn't in an unfairly way. It was the fact that she has, has been acting like a disrespectful adult woman who has no regard for others. So she yelled and physically touched the black teen male. This goal on me that Sarah Jane Comrie's Matthew created smells reeks of desperation because at the time of editing this video, her desperate nephew made over the goal limit of $123,895. The GoFundMe fundraiser should have been closed by now because the screenshots I have of the same account are a day apart from each other. Because today, it now shows she raised $124,811. And by she, I mean her nephew. I'm telling you right now, I don't care if... Bob Rowe is raising it to help Sarah keep her job. But if you're going to create a GoFundMe as a desperate attempt because your niece was being called a Karen, I suggest that you think smarter next time and avoid making clickbait on sympathetic fundraisers. To summarize, Black teen politely declined city by Karen's request. Sarah Jane Comrie touches an occupied city bike. Sarah Jane Comrie should have gotten on another bike that wasn't occupied, but she didn't. 
City by Karen was video recorded at 7.24 p.m. City by Karen screams like a child. Sarah Jane Connery then touches the black teen. Sarah Jane Connery grabs the black teen's phone from his hand. Then Sarah Jane Connery fake cries. And that's when Sarah Jane Connery gets told by co-worker to get another bike. To summarize, Black Teen has City Bike Annual Membership, which allows him to re-dog the bike after taking the City Bike for 45 minutes. When you don't re-dog, the city bike, you get charged. So the black teen docks it to take it out again, all of which is on his account, plain and simple. Sarah Jane Comrie didn't get pushed off by him. Not once, not twice, not at all. Never happened. Never happened in the video. Black teen holds on to the handlebar of the bike that's still on his account. And that's what happened in the video. The only thing that happened in the video. Justin Marino redacted the evidence of the location and the timestamp. Then he now tweets on May 24th to show the unredacted receipt that he never released to the news media. Thus, him already ruining his own client's reputation by not showing the actual proof in the first place without blurring it out. Sarah Jane Comrie's nephew is just has made a desperate attempt to make money on GoFundMe by overreaching his goal for his niece who was being called a Karen. It is so pathetic. It is so pathetic of Sarah Jane Comrie's nephew to make a go fund me and overfund the the initial goal of one hundred twenty thousand dollars and not immediately close the fucking fundraiser bottom line you don't get a pass for being six months pregnant and nine months pregnant if I was that black teenager, for example, and if I fucking say no, there are other bikes you can use other than the electric bike I'm still using. When you see me holding on to the handlebars of that city bike, as well as sitting on the fucking bike, it's very fucking simple to know that I'm still using it because it's on my account, figuratively speaking. Therefore, I ain't gonna just give you an electric city bike because you're pregnant. Okay? You are an entitled white woman who should know better than this. You can easily use the other bikes that are unoccupied at the bike rack. Again, I'm not going to give you the electric city bike just because you're pregnant, figuratively speaking. Pregnant women like yourself don't deserve any of that special treatment. If you start disrespecting me, just like you were disrespecting that the black teenager, you and I are going to have problems. 
You were told nicely no, and you refused to listen, so you rudely have to make a scene for nothing over a city bike. Once again, figuratively speaking. As I'm sitting on the bike, or holding on to the handlebars of the bike, that I'm literally standing next to it, you can't take it from me. Because it's not a first come, first serve basis when you take an occupied bike from a black person. And if the roles were reversed, a white person would be standing next to the handlebar of that city bike that white person was using and a black pregnant woman walked up to it and got on that occupied city bike and tried to scan the QR code the same damn thing is gonna happen just like it did to the black teenager who is literally standing next to the bike he's using by holding on to the, that bike handlebar which that black pregnant woman would yell for help and a few people would gather around after the black pregnant lady touches the white teenager over a city bike nearly forcing him to let go even though the white teen still has the city bike on his account because it's still in his possession as he's holding on to the handlebar of that city bike that white teen is Danny next to and I can assure that plenty of you racist white motherfuckers are still going to be defending a white person if that was the other way around. So don't try to play this dumb game with me. I know the fucking ins and outs of the book.